15 years ago, the popular video streaming site YouTube was created, where countless everyday people have become stars. Suddenly, anyone can become famous for just about anything. For example, this is the most viewed video in the world right now. What has the world come to? But what is the appeal of YouTube? Why are so many people wanting to become YouTubers? And how hard actually is it being a YouTuber? Hi, I'm Jake Page, a 19 year old living in Norwich, wanting to make it big on YouTube. But I can't do it alone. I'm going to need some help from people who know a bit more about being a YouTuber than I do. Yeah, so I'm Toby Seeger. I'm 26. I've been doing parkour now for about 15 years. And then for the last 10 of those, I've been part of a team called Star and we've got a sort of big YouTube channel and managed to kind of live off what we do now. So yeah, that's pretty much me. I am Helen Anderson and I am a YouTuber, Instagrammer, blogger, content creator. Um, yeah, <laughs> internet person. We, we didn't write the word for years, but I guess we're in influencers and um, we've managed to build up uh, following around the world of parkour so my channel is focused on predominantly fashion and lifestyle um but for people that kind of aren't mainstream i would say i, ha I hate I hate saying that, but like people that aren't really like trend and fashion. Um, it's about empowerment. It's about being positive. It's about self-expression. I do vlogs as well. Um, so I film my everyday life and put it on there. And I kind of want to bring a little bit of normality back to the platform. So at the time of recording, I have 376 subscribers, which it's not much. I really do need help. I started YouTube just as a hobby, really. Me and my mates all had our own YouTube channels with like 10 subscribers each. We'd go to the park every weekend, play football and record videos. They are some of my favourite childhood memories to be honest. When we got a little bit older we decided to create a group YouTube channel called Techers FC. This channel went a lot better than we had all expected and it got more subs than we had ever got before. I took a lead role in this channel which may have annoyed some members of the group. We gained over 1.9 thousand subscribers, which doesn't seem much, but to us it was. The reason we got this many subscribers may have been because there were more of us, we were funnier as a group, or put together we all had certain skills that worked well. I'm back at First Side Park. This is where we used to record most videos back in the day, including some of my all-time favourites. So this bench right here, we filmed a lot of videos here, but the most memorable one would have been the arm wrestle. So this is where we filmed our first ever arm wrestle video. I don't know why we decided to do it, but we did. Um, it was for the 1K special video actually, and it was a part of that. But then we also uploaded it separately, and it got so many views that we just decided to do more of them. Um, and actually, the most viewed video on my current channel is an arm wrestle video. So yeah, I do lose them most of the time, all the time, but they get views so can't complain. So this is where we filmed my favourite ever video, the monster review. <laughs> Alright, so mine is Monster Energy, the Doctor, which is like, I think it's made for um, Rossi, the um, the um, Moto GP racer thing. It looks pretty cool design. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. Um, see if I can actually open it. It looks yellowy inside, um, so yeah, let's try it. You pissed me. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was my favourite video to record because it was just such a mess and it was so funny to record because we were all so hyper. Yeah, yeah, that was a good video that was. Unfortunately, this channel was taken down by YouTube for violating the terms and conditions. That was all they said. So we didn't know how or why we violate the terms and conditions, but apparently we did. So that was annoying, but I haven't let it stop me. I've carried on making videos. So in 2018, I created my current YouTube channel called Jake Page. Creative name, I know. So this channel isn't quite doing as well as Texas FC did, but I don't let that stop me and I've carried on doing it. Your first video was nine years ago. How has YouTube changed since then? Well, 
I think when I first started YouTube, a lot of people were doing it as a hobby uh, or just as an outlet of um, just just as somewhat of good stuff. But obviously, as it got more and more popular, YouTube now is more like a TV platform. It started so many people's careers whether it's just in YouTube or if it's other stuff the quality of content is a zillion times higher than it was it's massively massively different to how it was when I started it was it was all just for fun and no one took it seriously but now it's such a big deal um, and it's watched by so many more people especially younger audiences like kids and teenagers it's their tv um yeah, massively different to how I when I started. YouTube has has changed massively. For one, everyone knows what it is and what people use it for. I think back then, it was just like the website that had the most videos on it, and uh, everyone just happened to choose that one. Um, yeah, I remember I was on Daily Motion and Google Video and stuff like that, and then it changed changed to YouTube. Um, I suppose just the platform just just grow massively like you, you rarely saw the millions back then and if youtubers did get the millions they were like world famous it felt like and now a lot of people seem to manage those kind of numbers and i suppose it's just more and more people on the platform so over time the youtube algorithm has changed have you managed to keep up with the algorithm and trends and if so how no i haven't <laughs> Quite honestly, I just continue to do what I want to do. If I was to play the game, like you said, do trends and work with the algorithm, probably I could be a lot more popular and successful. But I just, I think, I just couldn't, I just can't do something that I don't feel is me. It makes me feel like a bad person. So I would rather have my integrity than more fame, if that makes sense. We, we haven't done a lot of adapting in terms of like following the algorithms or the trends and stuff like that but one thing is our video has definitely got a lot longer the last youtube video i uploaded was on 4th of september 2020 and it's titled diy kfc bonus banquet yes that is what my channel has come to that video is actually one of my lowest viewed videos so the reason I decided to take a break is because I wanted to spend more time on making the videos and schedule them for 2021. This way, not only will I have better quality videos, but I'll also have more consistent uploads. I've also decided to rebrand my channel with a blue theme that runs throughout the channel, including on my channel banner. I've kept the same logo, but now I have it embroidered on a jumper so I can wear it in videos and give more of a sense of a brand than before. What I think about Jake's channel is that it needs a lot of improving. It's very good because it's something he likes to do and you can tell he's passionate about it, but it's not the best. <laughs> the best thing about Jake's channel is he puts hours and hours of editing for it not even to turn out that well, but he carries on anyway. The worst thing about Jake's channel is that he doesn't post very regularly and he's a very irregular poster. My favourite video on Jake's channel is probably the bin shop video that he did over lockdown as I like the editing in it and the song he put over the top is cool. So do you have a piece of advice for people wanting to start YouTube and try and make it big on YouTube? There, you've got to A, have your heart in the right place. So you need to know exactly what it is that you want to create content on and also ask yourself why. Um, don't chase fame because I don't think it's healthy and also I feel like it's really obvious when you're not being genuine. Titles and thumbnails as well are really important, but um, still to this day we're a bit stubborn about putting the big red arrows on them and all that sort of thing, you know what I mean? So we try to keep it keep it original still with that sort of stuff, but um, yeah, try and make the title as clickable as possible. The people that make it big and have a really dedicated audience um, and have a sustainable future in terms of keeping that are genuine people who have actually something quite authentic and new or interesting to offer. Toby Seagar and Helen Anderson's seven tips to make it big on YouTube. One, have your heart in the right place. Two, know exactly what you want to make content on. Three, ask yourself why. Four, don't chase fame. Five, titles and thumbnails are important. Six, Make the title as clickable as possible. And number seven, 
be genuine and offer something authentic, new and interesting. After listening to what the YouTubers had to tell me and what my girlfriend thinks about my channel, she's quite harsh isn't she? I've decided to start a new monthly series which will be better quality than the videos I already have. So I got thinking and for my series I decided to do a TV show style video where I interviewed Lighthouse Media, a media production company and had segments like a quiz and say it or shot it which made the interview more fun when recording and more interesting to watch. Hello and welcome to episode one of the JP show with me Jake Page. The first challenge I have for them to partake in is a simple quiz. Who does the voiceover on Love Island? Ian Sterling. Ian Sterling. Love Island. Which English city was once known as Duraliponte? Duraliponte. Yep. Um, <sighs> Liverpool? No, Cambridge. Really? Yep. Wow. Complete the Spice Girls lyric, if you want to be my lover. You've got to get with my friends. friends. Your next challenge is say it or shot it. Oh dear. You answered it, but um, you offended me, so. <laughs> Drink up. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, he's already down it. Oh, that's actually really good. It's like sweet. Are you offending us? Do you want some hots? No. <laughs> no, to me. No, no, I agree with you. And then the final question is Are you subscribed to Jake Page? No. On... <laughs> what is your general feedback from my video? The main feedback was like, it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely funny and the contents are great. It's a good watch. Cheers. Like the formats there, there's it ticks it ticks all the boxes of like for the concept. I think my main notice was just the uh, edit, really. You, I think it can just be chopped, chopped down. I think yeah. the, it was my only, uh, my only like watch, and that is solely based on like on uh, my attention span. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. That's some good advice there. I'll definitely take that on board. So, after talking to the various YouTubers and trying out myself. I found out that YouTube is a lot harder than it looks, but it was an adventure worthwhile, and it might be for you too. Behind the scenes, we just wrapped up filming. It's been freezing cold. Not the great weather, best weather to film in. And we got here, and it was really foggy, so we couldn't even film. Just wait an hour. Yep. 